In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can get this super cool notification inside of your Roblox game. So I set a quick timer just so I had some time to speak. Also, here we are with the new Roblox UI. And as you can see, this notification is going to pop up on my screen right now. And as you can see, it has a photo, a header, and a message, and I think it looks super cool. First, we need to get the model, which can be found in the link down below. Now, a massive shout out goes to this person, because obviously I did not make this. And all we need to do is click on the Get Model plugin, then head over to Get Model, click on that, and there we go. Now it's time for us to grab our model that we just got. So we're going to head over to My Toolbox and then Inventory. Then we're going to click on this model, click OK. And then we're going to head over to our Explorer, open the drop down next to the folder, then grab whichever folder and put it in whichever folder it tells us to. So first is replicated storage and then click on control U or right click on group. Do the same for the other folder into started UI and control U or on group and then delete the leftover folder. Now I'm going to show you a quick example of how we can do this locally. Now the great thing about this package is that we can call it from the server and we can also call it from the client. So that means we can send notifications as the server and through the client. So what we're going to do is click on plus next to start GUI and insert a local script into start GUI. Now what we're going to do is get the replicated storage by saying local replicated storage equals and then we're going to say game colon get service and then inside of get service we're going to pass replicated storage that's looking all good. Now what we're going to do is require the module so let's say local banner notif equals and then we're going to say require and then replicated storage dot banner notif storage colon wait for child and then banner notification module and this will just allow us to use the modules of the notification. Now from here we're going to actually try and use out the notify function. So let's say banner notif colon notify and then in here we are going to need to pass a header so this will be the title let's just say hi and then our description can be hello then back over here and let's have a look at the documentation. It asks us for an icon, which is going to be a string. Okay, so let's head back to Studio. And then let's just get a random decal from somewhere. So let's head over to our toolbox, which should be in the view toolbox. Change it to images. And let's just look for star or something maybe. So let's put in star. Um, okay, these are all really low quality. Nah, okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, no, these still suck. Let's just reset it. Um, let's just use this default uh, Valkyrie, which is the number one up there. So to do this, we can just click on it and it's going to insert it as a decal. And then we can copy the ID from here. And also, if you're ever on the web-based version, you can just grab the ID from the URL like that. And then back on Studio, just paste it into a decal so we can get the asset ID. You can do that by creating a decal or an image and then pasting the texture into there and then we can copy the asset ID from the URL that is produced. And then we're going to simply say comma, then say rbx asset ID colon slash slash and paste the ID we copied. Now let's add in a duration and this will be for how long the uh, notification is visible. So let's just say 3.5 and that is looking all snazzy. We can delete the decal. Then remember outputting things is always super important. So let's just say uh, wait five and then underneath that say print. And then let's just say something like show notification. Then let's head into studio and press on play and give it a whirl. So here we are inside of the game. We're loading in slowly. I can close that. I love the new Roblox UI too. Some people hate it. I don't mind it. And as you can see, we get the notification with our header, the image, and the description looking all perfect and good. Now we can also customize this notification, which is also super useful. So just to remind myself, I'm going to head over to the dev form and let's just copy this config here. You can copy it also yourself and then head back to Roblox Studio and then just paste it in and let's just mess around with these values. Okay, so we have the background color. So let's just change that to be golden or something. Um, we have the transparency, also the content color. So let's make the content color also something super absurd. So let's just make it red or something. And okay, now let's go for a blue actually, just so it really varies. And we can also mess around with the content transparency. So now if we click on play and give that a go, we're going to load in. And then we have to wait five seconds again. We can admire the new Roblox UI. 
and also look in our output, we're going to get the print, and as you can see, it's looking very different indeed. Let's also try a new configuration just like this and see how this looks. Um, we're going to load up here, and as you can see, we're going to wait a couple of seconds, and here we go, we have this brand new notification. I think it's actually better to not change the content color, I guess the content color is going to be the color of the text too. Okay, so let's just disable this script, and now I'm going to show you on how you can do this through the server. So copy the first two lines, chuck them into uh, your new script inside of server script service, and the process will almost be the exact same. So let's just handle when a player joins. So say game dot players dot player added colon connect function, and then let's just pass the player who joined. Then once the player has joined, we're going to say uh, banner notif colon notify. Then let's give it a new header like welcome to the game exclamation mark comma. Then let's just say what could we say? You have joined the best game in the world. Okay, another comma. Let's say we want this notification to have a new icon. So let's say rbx asset id colon slash slash. And then we can say zero if we do not want an icon. Then let's set the duration to five. I just need to head back to the documentation to copy the configuration. And then I'm going to paste that. Ignore that function I added. That was just for testing. And then we can pass the config in here. And finally, what we need to do is just pass the player which has been defined above. Now, actually, I think we should have an icon. So let's just head to the toolbox and let's just say star, for example. Let's see if there's anything good last here. Uh, oh, mm, uh, oh, actually, wait, never mind. That might work. Uh, yeah, that one. So let's just open that up. Um, copy the asset ID from here again. And then let's just change it from 0 to be this new number. Obviously, you can keep it at 0. And then let's try it out by running it, the game. We're going to load up here. And then welcome to the game. You have joined the best game in the world. Okay, so hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions about Roblox or you're just curious, head to my Discord down below. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.